Hello and welcome to another edition of Addicted to Angling. I'm Matthew Crow and tonight we're here on Clacton Pier in Essex looking for some codlin. It's the end of February, the sprats that we're about keeping the cod away from the bottom baits have dispersed, the cod are getting their heads down. We've heard good reports the last couple of days, there's been a few showing, so we thought we'd come down here tonight and see what we can get. I'm down here tonight with two of my good friends, Peter Brock and Paul Dawes. Both got two rods out. I've got two rods out. Only bait I'm using tonight is peeler crab. I'll go through that later with you. Um, we'll see what happens. See if we can get something on camera for you. Be nice to catch a codlin. Uh, hopes are high. Tide's still ebbing. It should start to flood again soon. I reckon once it starts to flood, that will uh, turn them on. So we'll see what happens. Let's see if we can get an official camera for you. Enjoy. Well, as you just heard me talking about, we're on Clacton Pier looking for codlin. First chuck, peeler crab. Look at this little beauty. Lovely slack liner, wolf fat crab right down. Beautiful, beautiful little fish. Lovely and plump, it's been feeding on the sprats that have been about. All I can say is, if we keep getting these all night, I'll be a very happy chappy. Right, we'll crack on. See you later. Right, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using peeler crab as bait, that's all I got. Got them sent up from Devon. This time of year around the east coast, they're not really peeling. Um, it's too cold, but down Devon, they peel all the time due to the water temperatures. Uh, sorry about the wind noise on the video. I'm tucked away as much as I can at the minute, but it is blowing quite well, and I'm hitting up behind one of the shelters on the pier, so if there is a lot of wind noise, then I apologize again. Right, like I said, I'm gonna show you a peeler crab. This, even though he looks like a normal crab, is a peeler. Crabs, as they grow, obviously they've got a hard outer shell. They have to uh, shed their shell, and then the soft skin underneath becomes harder. Um, obviously if they keep growing with the shell, the shell will crack, they'll die, so that's what they have to do. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to take you through how I bait up peeler crabs. Um, a lot of people do it differently, this is just how I do it, so uh, if anyone out there's ever, or ever thought about using these and never actually used them because they're put off of not how to uh, prepare them, this is how I do it, okay? Right, first thing I do is get the outer shell, give the outer shell a push, give it a crunch, so you know it's a peeler because the shell lifts up, I then Peel the top of the shell off, take off the claws, keep the claws and keep the legs. Perfect little bait for tipping off, they'll peel as well. Crack them off, get the flesh underneath. If you're using a worm bait, tip the worm bait off. Flatties absolutely love it. 
so I've removed the top shell, removed the claws I'm now removing the legs they come away and then what you're left with on top is that on the side you see a little bit take that off remove that bit as well and then you come to underneath now underneath what I like to do is get the tail flap peel that off and then you'll have the rest of the shell peel those bits off as well it is a bit of a fiddly job, it can be time consuming but the rewards in the end are well worth it remove the mouthpieces now under here you have lungs remove them get all that stuff off you'll have the leg sockets now what I do trim the leg sockets off as well the reason for doing this I always find you don't want any hard bits of shell on the crab if you have hard bits of shell on the crab hook could slip you could get stuck in one of the hard bits that's your hook point masked any fish that take the bait you're gonna miss right so you are now left with that absolutely soft crab what I then do is take a pair of scissors cut three quarters up the crab so what it gives you is like a butterfly see that then take my baiting needle pass my baiting needle through the bottom of the crab and then out through the top so the crab sits on there like that lovely bait and then what I'll do is take some fine bait elastic and just whip Keep going. Whip it on nice and tight. Lovely and tight. Put a fair bit on. And then, once your crab is whipped on nicely, top bit, break it off. And what you're left with is a lovely juicy crab bait to slide on your hook. What self-respecting cod, smooth hound, bass, ray, and what come along and eat that, eh? Beautiful. Right, I'm just gonna run you through the rig I'm using tonight. Both rods, I'm using pulley panel droppers. Same idea as a pulley, fish takes a bait, when you hook it into it, fish stays below the weight, the weight's up in the water, out of any trouble. Now that, if you can see it, I hope you can, is the rig I'm using. And the drop part of it is, once the imp, which I use, breakaway imps, great bit of kit, hits the water, water pressure pops it off, the trace, then, slides down the line and it sits on the bottom and it sits well away from the lead brilliant rigs as I've said before love my droppers I use these a lot for rays, a lot for codlin a lot for bass panel setup 2-2-0 Sakuma Mantas sharp hooks good hooks 
And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I put the crab on the hook. That's the crab bait I showed you earlier. Lovely and juicy, ready to go. And literally, what I'll do is take the bottom hook, put the bottom hook into the baiting needle, like so. And then push the crab up. Hold the line tight. Then what I'll do is I'll feed the crab over the hook. You see that? Take it out. Take the top hook of the panel. Bring that down. Wrap it around the line a couple of times and then place that through the top and then what you have is a lovely presented crab hook mate absolutely beautiful right so it's now flooding it's been a bit quiet the wind is absolutely immense uh, we're hiding up behind the shelters trying to keep out of it but now it's flooding just had another one of these little beauties hopefully be a sign they're coming back on the feed. Let's see what happens. Cheers, doors. Oh, I thought I'd come and get in the van, do the old goodbye for the vid because. Uh, blowing a hoolie out there, cutting cold wind, really, really, really cold. Um, had a nice little short session on the crab, a couple of codlin, P had a codlin and some dabs and some whiting. Didn't do too badly scratching around he was. Um, so yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Next one you'll be getting from us is when we come back from Norway. Hopefully get some nice fish on camera for you. Uh, I'm looking really, I want to catch a haddock and a halibut. That's what I want to get on camera, that's what I want to catch myself personally. Uh, a couple of double figure cod won't go amiss either. No, we'll see what happens. Alright, take care, tight lines, and see you later.